for those who are claiming for those who are claiming racism at the hands of the government let us just think about whether the issues the issues that are before may, us may I say something has One anything moment. to do with race versus what the reality is. That was Minister within the Office of the Prime Minister, Kwame Mokoy, who was at the time responding to numerous concerns of residents of Moka Arcada, located on the east bank of the Marara. Residents spoke to racial discrimination, victimization, injustices in the housing sector, underdevelopment and inhumane treatment meted out to a large section of Guyanese by the current administration. I would like to limit this conversation to the residents reporting to me. If persons could form a line, share with me your thoughts, give your expressions, and I would say respectfully, in the interest of time, so that other neighbors could share as well, please make your point and we can accommodate quite a few people. After several residents had the opportunity to address U.S. Congressman Jonathan Jackson, Minister McCoy took the microphone, stating that although individuals are free to express their opinions, they must be truthful and accurate. Congressman Jackson then made it clear that he was only interested in listening to the residents and asked the minister to grant him that privilege. Residents of Mocha Arcade on Tuesday put the Air and Ali led administration on blast during a public engagement with United States Congressman the Honorable Jonathan Jackson. The congressman said the many concerns raised by the residents will be shared with President Air and Ali. I'll share this with my colleagues, the, the uh, ranking member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, as well as the uh, leader of the Democratic Party, and with my colleagues. And I will encourage them to come down here on subsequent visits as well to um, have an assessment. And I'll share with them, as was reported to me by the residents that came out this morning. But there will be change, and change is happening now. Meanwhile, opposition leader Aubrey Nurton and a team also met with the congressman. And during their talks, a number of important issues were brought up. Seas included a need for a more equitable distribution of oil resources and government contracts, as well as a predicament teachers and other public servants continue to face. Tiano Co reporting for the AHGP Nightly News.